Ready, one, two, three. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm going to be showing you on how to get the Optifine mod for Minecraft 1.14.4. Optifine is basically a mod, or you can call it an add-on, um, that is used in Minecraft to help you increase the FPS and it will give you settings to change the look of your game so it can be customised on how you use it. Um, installing an Optifine is actually quite possibly the easiest add-on that you can ever do just because it's basically a drag and drop and you click on it and it installs but I'm gonna be creating this video to show you on how to do it uh, just to make it that bit easier for you so step one what you're gonna to want to do is you're gonna to want to open up your Google or whatever thing you use and then you're gonna to want to install or download Optifine 1.14.4 there you go now for some reason, this Optifine.net, it's not a good idea to download it on there anymore. So what I like to do is I like to go into this one, the shadersmod.com. But all you're going to have to do is go here, scroll down. I'm going to have the link in the description. And then afterwards, you're going to want to scroll down and find the Optifine 1.14.4. And then you're going to want to click on it. And then once you do that, you're going to download Optifine 1.14.4. And then it should come up with a Java file. If you don't have Java, oh, I don't know what this ad is, you're going to want to install Java, the latest download. So I'm going to also have this link in the description. You're just going to want to click on that, install it, and then it should come up with the icon of Java. Then once you do that, you put it onto your desktop. You then click on it. Oh, no, before that, actually, let's get rid of this. You're going to want to make sure, this is the second step, you're going to want to make sure that you have your latest release 1.14.4 and you've already played it this way that if you go on to percent app data percent and go into dot minecraft and go into say not save sorry and you should go into versions it should have 1.14.4 in there and it will create a folder this means that your optifine will be able to find a folder and then you'll be able to click install then you click install, I think it's going to say that I already have mine. Oh no, it says it's successfully installed. But I've already got it installed, so I'm going to just, as you can see, Optifine 1.14. I'm going to load it up, and then we'll take a look in the game. I've just realised this is the wrong account. Anyway, I'm going to load it up, and then I'll meet you in the Minecraft save. <coughs> Okay, and now we're in Minecraft, I'm just going to go on to my survival world currently and then I'm going to walk around my survival world and you'll see all the differences and I'm going to show you exactly what Optifine does. Now I don't know where I'm going to be spawning. Oh! Yeah, maybe this isn't the best place to show it, show it off, so let's... God, I made this a lot more difficult than it had to be. I'm just going to pop that there. And then I'll sort this out later. Yeah, I'm going to sort this out later. Anyway, let's go to my survival starter area. I'll speed this up a bit. And then I'll show you the how good Optifine actually is. Okay, and here we are. So, I'm going to move away from that because that's the most annoying sound in the world. Anyway, basically, once you open your settings, go to options, go to video settings, it now changes exact, like, you can customise anything you can have. You can turn certain particles off, you can change the uh, everything to make it look better, and the best thing that you can do is you can install shaders. And I'm going to turn the shaders off to show you this ga the game in shaders, which makes it look a whole lot better. There we go. Oh, oh, that hurts my eyes. And as you can see, it looks a whole lot better. And you could not do this without Optifine. As you can see, it makes everything look a lot better. And if I go into cave, so I'll go down into my cave house, uh, it will make everything look, as you can see, look at that. And I'll go down here. 
and it makes it look a whole lot better. And I'm going to change that back. Oh, no, that's not in animations. And that's going to be my next video tutorial on how to install shaders, but that is not possible without Optifine. And the best thing that I use for Optifine is I can zoom in. It's the most satisfying thing in the world. You can just zoom in and it's just great. And basically overall, as you can see my FPS, what FPS am I on? With max settings, uh, everything turned on, everything turned to fancy. I still have 180 FPS, which is great. And that would not be possible without Optifine. So I definitely think that you should install Optifine. I'm gonna move away because I'm just getting all the water sounds. I'll move to the top again. Um, wait till I get to the top. But yeah, I definitely think you should install Optifine and that's basically how you do it. It is very simple and it is definitely recommended to do so. Now, anyway guys, that's been the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys want to see more videos like this, then make sure to hit the subscribe and like the video so I know that you guys have enjoyed this video. Anyway, that's been it and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. And uh, editing this video back, I've realized once how ill I sound. That's why I haven't been uploading in a while. I've been quite ill and I thought that I was getting better. So I decided to start uploading again but it doesn't sound the greatest and maybe I should take a bit, little bit longer of a break but uh, just to bear in mind I was ill in this video and two, for some reason my microphone's really crackly and it may be crackling now uh, and I'm not sure why it's doing that but I'll make sure that I get that fixed for the for the next video um, yeah, I really don't want to keep doing these outros like this but yeah, apologies for everything and see you guys in the next video